I went to Kiev, Ukraine to get a fetal stem cell transplant and it changed my life. It was the most amazing feeling. I had the most amazing recovery. I can't say enough nice things about it. Reversing my autoimmune diseases was such a relief. Hashimoto's disease, hypothyroidism, arthritis, interstitial cystitis, irritable bowel syndrome, um, rosacea, acne, and just having more circulation, more energy, more life, more vibrancy, and not feeling sick. It's a gift. I'm so grateful for the experience. After the release of my fourth documentary, The God Cells, I've tried my best to follow people who have watched my movie and then decided to go to M-Cell in Kyiv, Ukraine to receive fetal stem cell treatment. Lee's story was particularly interesting as she was suffering from autoimmune diseases that millions of other people around the world struggle with on a daily basis. So after being sick for more than five years, feeling sick and tired and that something was seriously wrong and having seven autoimmune issues. After I had the fetal stem cell treatment, I started feeling much better almost immediately. Um, within two weeks, six out of seven autoimmune issues had pretty much reversed or gone away at least 90%. And they stayed away for at least, most of them stayed away about 11 months. I was diagnosed with Hashimoto's disease, but no doctor actually in Western medicine suggested how to reverse that or how to change it. I want to talk about my blood labs, and I think some of my blood labs are extremely exciting. Like, I think I should be on the cover of a newspaper with some of the results that I had. So one of the markers for Hashimoto's thyroiditis, elevated thyroglobulin antibodies. So the first time I tested, in 2014, I was 423 and normal is 116, so I'm 300 points over. I did the other labs where normal is one. I was at 248. In February 2017, three months before fetal stem cell therapy, Lee's thyroglobulin antibodies were at 392. When I showed up at M-Cell in 2017, they used the test where you want to be 115 or lower. I was 515, so I was 400 points above normal. And let me just tell you how terrible you feel when you're 400 points above normal. Brain fog is part of thyroglobulin antibodies. And brain fog is just the scariest thing because you just don't know if you're ever going to be smart again like you used to be. One month after my treatment in Kiev, Ukraine, I went back to my normal doctor's office and had a thyroglobulin antibody test again. And this is the test where one is normal. I dropped to 59. M-cell suggested that I wait four months to have a blood test and I felt so amazing even after the first week. I was like, I can't wait four months. I've got to go get a test now. So I, I went a month after the treatment and I dropped at least 250 points, which is incredible. I then went four months later and I dropped from 59 to 28. Again, one is normal. I then went at, at six months after the treatment and I had dropped. And I actually went at the six month mark because I was abusing my sleep and my diet and my whole health regimen. I wasn't really I wasn't always getting eight hours of sleep. I wasn't really eating organic food or healthy food. It was a lot of carry out. I was working a tremendous amount of hours. I was staying up till like two or three in the morning getting projects done for people. So I actually went six months after my treatment just to make sure that I wasn't screwing up, you know, the treatment that I had been given. And um, I couldn't believe it when the numbers were even lower. I had dropped to 12 and one is normal. So I went to 12, which I, I thought it was a miracle. Everything. Uh, when your antibodies are close to normal, you feel, I feel normal. It, it was incredible. I went to M-Cell again for my second treatment 13 months after the first one. And they had said, you know, you'll probably want to come back after a year. And they were right. I was hoping I'd never have to come back ever again, even though I love Kiev, Ukraine. It's like, it's very expensive. So I was hoping that one might do the trick. After my second set of treatments, um, I knew that I needed to test pretty much as soon as I got back home. So I had uh, a blood lab scheduled. So, you know, the plane lands, you're back at home, your treatments are done. Um, I already felt, I felt very good. I got in late at night, you know, you go to bed, you wake up in the morning. The next afternoon I had a blood test and I had dropped, and this blood test, one is normal, I had dropped to four. To recap, 11 months after Lee's first fetal stem cell treatment, she felt her autoimmune conditions return. 
One year later, on June 13th, 2018, upon her return to M-cell, her thyroglobulin antibodies were 410. While less than they were a year prior, she was still well out of normal range, being less than 115. After Lee returned home, her antibodies had dropped to four within only a few days after her second treatment, the test where one is normal. To summarize, in February 2017, her American test where one is normal, she was at 392. Had fetal stem cell treatment in May. In June, she dropped to 59. In September, she dropped to 28. In December, down to 12. Lee returned to M-cell in June of 2018 when her symptoms began to return to then have her thyroglobulin antibodies drop to 4 in only a few days after her second fetal stem cell treatment. Which I really should be on the cover of a newspaper. My bladder would puff up and be dilated or distended as if it was completely full, but there would be nothing in it. And so you have this terrible urge to like go, but there's nothing there. It was like the gas gauge in my bladder was broken. Um, I went to the emergency room for it and they diagnosed me and they had a catheter in there and they were like, you have interstitial cystitis. Like, you know, your, your bladder is completely, you know, puffed up like a balloon, but there's not one drop in it. Um, and it's painful, and they and it's it's scary because they act like and you're going to be like that forever. I had irritable bowel syndrome, which which was progressing to be to become more and more painful. So much pain, a lot of blood, blood in the stool almost every day, and um, I had severe constipation from the hypothyroidism and the Hashimoto's. Um, all of a sudden, you know, bladder and bowel function just went back to normal everything, nothing hurt anymore. I didn't feel pain. Um, the bleeding of the bowel stopped. The extreme constipation stopped. I actually felt like I had some Guinness Book of World Records, like moments, like in the first month. I couldn't believe, I was like, I don't know if my body's ever functioned that well. I went from like, you know, extreme sickness to like everything is working normally. And in fact, some things are working optimally. Maybe a week after the treatment, I was like, you know, walking down the street kind of fast and it was like, oh my gosh, my arthritis is gone. I never felt any arthritis for 11 months. After maybe two weeks, I felt that my plantar fasciitis had changed where I could only wear like one pair of shoes with orthotics and all of a sudden my feet felt like they were puffed back up again and I could wear any shoe in my closet. In fact, I started coming to work in like two and a half inch heels which was hysterical that I could just go straight to like high heels. My skin looked better. Uh, I looked healthier. Uh, my energy returned. I really felt like I could concentrate again. There were so many things that after being sick for like five years, there were like piles of like things that I was too overwhelmed to deal with. Like, oh, I can't, I can't, I just can't deal with that right now. I'm too tired. Like when I'm feeling better, I'll do it. And all of a sudden it was like, pfft. Let me, hand me that pile, I'm gonna totally go through. I mean, I'd get stuff done like in an hour that I couldn't deal with for five years. A lot of like little undone things just started clearing out of my life. It's exciting to have energy again when you haven't. I felt completely different. I would wake up refreshed like you did when you were a kid. It's fun when you forget about an illness, like you're so much better, you're like, oh yeah, I forgot I had that. I was able to start exercising again I was very excited to just be like a normal person again that could just eat what they wanted and just be normal and not be so obsessed about my health. Just energy, gosh. Energy is such a vital commodity. It's funny, everybody says money is the most important thing. It's like, you know what, your energy is very valuable. Being vibrant is such an amazing gift that I got from this. When you come back from Ukraine, what are the most common questions people ask you? Um, it's funny, I get very, I get a lot of the same questions uh, and it, it surprises me. Um, I, I mean, the first question is, what does it feel like? And my best example is just, it feels like you are a cell phone that got charged to 100%. And that's an amazing feeling because I'm, I'm not normally at 100%. Um, it also feels like when you're charged at 100%, your body can heal things that it doesn't normally have the energy to do, that whatever you were sick with, your body just didn't have the strength to get around to that. And once you're charged to 100%, it's like, it seems like your body, it feels like your body's fixing everything. So that's what's so cool about like that full charge. I think the other thing that people asked was like, what if it's in your head? 
Like, what if all this healing you seem to have experienced was just in your head? And I'm like, well, if it was, then I'd like to pay the money again and have it done next year because it's amazing, you know? So even if it, it is in my head somehow, um, it's still worth doing in my mind, but I don't think it's in my head because so many more things happened that I could ever have imagined. 